A Democratic House candidate is having to apologize for a little bit of a crazy night. A bender at a party over Valentine's Day weekend. It was a kid's sleepover party that Abby Broyles decided to effectively crash. There were eight girls between the ages of 12 and 13 at this party. I believe they were watching Titanic. Lovely look, gathering for kids, watch a movie and that sort of thing. According to multiple, multiple accounts of the evening, candidate Broyles became intoxicated and spoke, spoke derogatorily to some of the girls. She allegedly called one of the girls an acne blank, which prompted the girl to leave the room in tears. Broyles allegedly called another girl a Hispanic blank and another a judgy blank. The blanks are all the same word. I will leave it to you to figure out what the word is, but it's a bad one. At one point, Broyles allegedly vomited into a laundry basket and onto one girl's shoes, which is how you end all good parties. Anyway, one of the mothers at the party posted on Twitter about this saying, it's so sad that she wouldn't apologize because this is someone who has stood in a soapbox and talked about empowering women. And rather than do that with these girls, she chose to belittle and denigrate the next generation of women. And she does this at a time when their bodies are changing and their features are changing and they are vulnerable. So this group non-doc who reported the story initially asked her about it. She denied being at the party. She said, I saw the tweets. I've been out of a party on a fundraising trip. They're awful and offensive and false. I don't know these women. I don't know what this is about, what is behind this, but it's just not true. This didn't happen until somebody posted on TikTok a video of her at the party. And then oops, she had to eventually admit that she was there. She said, I was invited to the party by one of my great friends, Cassidy. For years, I have struggled with stress and anxiety and insomnia, and she knows that. And she gave me a medication I had never taken before, and I had an adverse reaction. Instead of helping me sleep, I hallucinated, and I don't remember anything until I woke up or came to, and I was throwing up in a hamper. Yeah, that whole I wasn't there, and it's outrageous that people are saying I was there, that didn't help your cause. Mm -hmm. uh, so now when she's now profusely apologizing, this isn't yeah, me, good. I don't know what happened. Blah, blah, blah. Might have been more credible if you didn't lie the first time around, right? And I get it, she's probably in a world of hurt right now and thinking, oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? Terrible. Yeah, um, but this is totally unacceptable. And I was actually kind of a little bit confused when she was like, she said effort, right? But the full word, she's like, you're an acne effort. And I was like, wait, is she having, is she accusing the girl of having sex with someone with acne? She's like, you're a Hispanic effort. I'm like, wait. Uh, and then it's and a little girl. I don't know. Yeah, and then I was like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" And then when she vomited all over the laundry, you got a good sense of what she was doing. Yeah. Uh, so obviously, all of that is over the top, unacceptable. By the way, um, she's not leaving the race. So, <laughs> okay, to each his own. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.